Good morning class. Today I'm going to build the body of the minion. Uh, so it's the pill shaped body. The first thing I'm going to do is drag out the cylinder and this is going to make up the plat or this is going to set on the platform and think of this platform as the platform for uh, the 3D printer. So anytime we 3D print something uh, you want objects to be stuck to this platform uh, because that's where they're going to print from. So if you're building a base or you're making something else, uh, this is the platform that you're going to use. So drag out the cylinder. The next thing you want to do is drag out the ruler. The ruler is going to help us dimension uh, whatever objects or shapes that we put out here. Uh, in Tinkercad, it's all about the shapes. You're just putting the shapes on the board and you're connecting them together. And with all these different shapes, you make characters and animations and 3D designs. Uh, well, not animations, but 3D designs. So the next thing you want to do with the cylinder is we're going to dimension it 50 by 50 by 10. Oh, wait, nope, sorry, by 40. So 50 by 50 by 40, and that makes up the middle part of the body, and then we have to make the head and the bottom. So the next thing I'm going to do is change this to yellow. And if you click on the object, you left click on the object, you'll see that it changes to yellow here. And if you'll notice in the right or in the left hand corner here, you'll see uh, it shows what I'm doing with my mouse and what I'm doing with my keyboard uh, so that you can kind of follow along. So hopefully you can see that it, it's a little small. All right, drag out the half cylinder. Uh, again, you can change that to yellow and then dimension that by again, the same shape as this. So 50 by 50 and we are going to do 25 here and so that'll make up the head so the next thing you want to do or pay attention to is you see this upward arrow that allows you to move the object up and down the next thing that you can do is also hold down control on your keyboard and while holding control you push the up arrow and that allows it to lift up and down as well so go ahead and lift that to 40 because that's the height of our cylinder here. Now you can notice that they're not aligned. Uh, Tinkercad has a neat tool called a line tool. So you click on the head and then you click on, hold down shift, click on the body and that selects both of them. So while holding shift, if you select multiple, you can select multiple objects and it groups them together. Uh, the next thing you want to do is use this align tool or L on your keyboard. So I'm going to push L and then that brings up these bubbles along the sides. Uh, so in order to align them this uh, uh, by their width and by their length, you have to use the center bubble here and the next center bubble here. And that aligns the body uh, perfectly. So you don't have to sit there and drag it around until you get it lined up. Uh, so again, hold down shift, select the first one, hold down shift and select the next one, or you can hold down control and push A and that'll select every object on the screen. Next thing you want to do is group these two items so they're stuck together and they're one part. And that's the grouping tool right up here. If you click on group or you press G, it'll group those two together. Uh, let's say you didn't want to group those two together, you can press the control shift G to ungroup it or just select the ungroup button right up here. So I didn't want to group those together quite yet, I want to copy this uh, head and that's going to be the bottom. So drag over the head and hold down shift and rotate this so that it's 180 degrees. And now we want to drop this back down to the platform. I can use this arrow right here to do that and just put it as zero. Or I can use this upward arrow and drag it down. So many tools to help you out there. Oops, I didn't mean to drag that over. Now I have to make sure that these are grouped. So I'm going to hold down shift, select the body, select the head, and group those. Because I need to lift both of these up. And I'm going to lift these up till they're 25. And if I can't get it just right, I would change it right here. Um, so select that, lift it up to 25. Now hold down shift, select the bottom, select the body. And then we're going to use our align tool again. So click on the align tool, click on this center bubble, and then click on the center bubble here. 
Notice I didn't select this one because that would shift it to the middle of the body and we don't want that. So that's how we want it to look. So again, control A, select all, and then control G or pressing the group button here, group it all together. And that's it, that's the start of the body. And that's it for this video and I'll make more videos as we go along. So thank you and I'll see you in the next video.